Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and this is going to be a very short video but something I definitely wanted to share with the rest of the community as it was shared to me. Uh, to the individual Fred, you should know who you are, I'm not going to say your last name just in case you don't want that displayed, but to Fred, um, thank you very much for the information that you gave me in regard to st fixing stuttering as this definitely solved a major problem on my machine so I want to share it with everybody else. If you guys are using Steam VR. If you guys have Steam VR installed, okay, even if you are not using Steam VR to actually launch the, uh, v the simulator in VR, okay, what is happening is it would appear that the Microsoft Flight Simulator is continuously trying to start Steam VR in the background. So here is where I have mine installed. Mine is on the B drive, but the folder you're going to be looking for, whether it be B, D, C, it doesn't matter. If what you're looking for is your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Steam VR, Bin, Win64, then you're going to come down here and find the VRserver.exe. Now, this is kind of a drag, and this is something that I will absolutely say a Sobo needs to get a hold of because this is absolutely 100% their software error if this is truly what is happening in the back end. Okay, you need to find this VRserver.exe and you're going to rename it. Okay, and you can do via.old. Um, Okay, or dot, dot BLK, BAK, however you want to do it. But all you need to do is change it so the executable is broken. For example, if I try to launch this, I get the Microsoft does not know how to use this file. Now, this is a real pain in the butt. And because the times that you are going to want to use Steam VR, you're going to have to come back in and change this name, which is why I recommend leaving the name as is and just adding a dot whatever you want at the end of it to break the extension. Okay, and then if I want to come back into it and use it again, I simply come back and delete the dot old, leaving the VR server.exe. Okay, press enter and the executable will function again. I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm deleting the dot old. Now you see VR server.exe, press enter, hit yes, and it's back to being a usable exe. Okay, this absolutely made a huge impact in the stuttering. And what I mean by the stuttering is the stuttering that happens every 20 to 45 seconds, that weird little glitch that you sometimes get that lasts for a while. This seems to have eliminated it. Um, I flew it in over Los Angeles earlier today for about an hour and had none. I had none. Zero stuttering. I flew from one end of LA to the other. And normally LA is one that just pounds my system. Okay. As soon as you start getting below the canopy, start getting near the, the skylines in, you know, downtown LA, you know, it gets absolutely crazy. And, you know, especially as you start getting closer and closer to LAX. And I had zero issues. So guys, check this out. Let me know in down in the comments if it works for you. Again, this is only applies to anyone who has uh, Steam VR. Now, if you are using some other VR service and you are running into the stuttering issue, I would recommend trying the same thing with whatever servers or uh, service you're using. You should have something similar. Um, I know Oculus Home would have a Oculus.exe. Okay. Um, as far as you know, your Windows Mixed Reality and some of the others, you know, I'm I'm not sure. You know, good luck. I hope you can find it, but I'm not sure what they would be titled as. But this might be something still worth diving into if Microsoft Flight Simulator uses it for your VR. All right. Um, again, let me know if this works for you guys. Be sure to share your comments down below as it's absolutely going to, uh, you know, be a good information for the rest of the community. Yes, this is a pain in the butt. This should not be something that we have to deal with. So hopefully uh, this has been reported to uh, a Sobo. It's something that I will look into and report myself as well. But anyway, guys, have a good one and I'll see you in the next one.